Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com with an answer to a question Rob from the northwest of England has sent in to me. He says, Mike, thanks for your help with your YouTube videos. Here's one for you. On Adobe Audition 3.0, they had a setting in Filter and EQ called Scientific Settings where you could set up a kind of tinny sound on the voiceover and it was called Drop Off Below 250 Hertz. You know what, Rob? I remember that one well. One of my favorite effects. How do you create it in Adobe Audition CS6? Well, let me show you. I'm going to do a quick voice over here. The Music Radio Creative Podcast with Mike Russell. Trim down my voice so I'm left with just the voiceover. And I'm going to add that effect to the with Mike Russell bit. This is a great effect for adding light and shade to a voiceover as you're creating a radio sweeper or podcast ID. So let's go to that with Mike Russell bit. With Mike Russell. And I'm going to go into my effects rack here. Then I'm going to go to filter and EQ. And you're looking for the FFT filter. Now this is how you handcraft that drop off below 250 hertz effect. You simply, and very simply, go to around 250 hertz on the graph, which is about here. And then pull that all the way down like that. And that's all you need to do with Mike Russell. And there's that tinny effect. Click apply and it's done. Then add my voiceover compression settings, which I show you in a previous video. And let's have a listen. The Music Radio Creative Podcast with Mike Russell. Remember to save that as a preset in Adobe Audition. Comes in handy all the time and sounds fantastic on any kind of audio production where you want to change the voice a little bit to make it sound different. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.